Hi guys, uh, Spirit of Oppression was a pretty useful artifact back in the old days in the original uh, Heroes of Might and Magic uh, trilogy because it was the only artifact uh, that could uh, mess up enemy morale and that was uh, particularly useful when fighting neutral creatures because no matter that it messes up your morale too but you want uh, uh, to be in control, you don't want... Uh, any uh, occasional morale boost from neutral creatures that will allow them to actually get you and do damage to you and kill uh, your stuff and uh, nobody wants to uh, lose unnecessarily uh, lose stuff to neutral creatures uh, before you can you now uh, gun them down from distance so this was a very useful artifact but now in uh, hota heroes uh, in uh, horn of the abyss uh, the three artifacts were introduced that only uh, lower the enemy morale without touching yours. So this is a ring of suppression, uh, the ring slot, then the necklace pendant of downfall, and the miscellaneous uh, hideous mask. So pendant of downfall even like is uh, minus two. So if you wear it, like uh, fighting neutral creatures, because uh, they only have plus one unless they are of course uh, uh, necro or golems or uh, elementals. So they will even have negative morale. And maybe might freeze in combat, uh, so awesome, because you still enjoy your morale while enemy uh, uh, is uh, crippled. Uh, so the question is, is now the spirit of oppression an obsolete uh, artifact? Well, I say no, because it still has some uses. Uh, for example, if you are fighting a hero, like your moral is uh, kind of neutral, and you're fighting an enemy hero that... Uh, has overwhelmingly uh, positive morale, like maybe expert le leadership plus pendant of courage or something, and even uh, all four of the artifacts won't be enough to uh, neutralize his morale. And also there is a uh, slot positioning, because uh, if you, for example, have something like this, Necklace of Swiftness or Celestial Necklace of Bliss, then I would definitely always choose this or the pendant of downfall. So yeah, you can... Uh, and I use this and uh, this spirit of oppression if you uh, think that his morale is better than yours so uh, neutral will be, built, will be more uh, beneficial for you and there is also one specific scenario when only a uh, spirit of oppression can help you and that is uh, when you are fighting uh, minotaurs and that's because of how uh, Spirit of Oppression works. It works differently than uh, these uh, three artifacts. It actually doesn't lower uh, the morale of you or your enemy. It uh, just uh, uh, prevents any positive morale from being used in combat. So all the creatures still have their normal mor morale. If uh, a creature has plus three, it still has plus three, but uh, Spirit of Oppression will prevent uh, that from being used in combat. So if you're fighting uh, Minotaurs, their stats is, their ability is to have a uh, good morale, so you cannot mess up their morale with any of these uh, uh, three artifacts. Uh, they will always have plus one, but also if you have them in your army and you, your hero is uh, over, mm, very positive morale, like uh, expert leadership or so, uh, your creatures have plus three morale, but uh, Minotaurs will still have plus one, so they always have plus one uh, morale, that, that's their trait. Okay, so you cannot mess up their morale, so you need Spirit of oppres Oppression to prevent their morale usage uh, in combat. Uh, but Spirit of Oppression will not uh, help you if you have negative morale. So uh, I'm glad they actually fixed the description in, uh, I believe in the original trilogy, the description was uh, then this uh, item uh, uh, prevents, uh, uh, negates, uh, no, it, what was the description? I think it was, uh, it negates uh, all morale bonuses. Uh, uh, in combat, so uh, for you and your opponent, so um, okay, I mean even uh, uh, if it says bonus, like negative morale is definitely not a bonus, it's a downside, so uh, if, uh, nah, but now it even clearly says it negates positive morale, so it won't save you from negative morale, and if you don't believe me, let's see. So, uh, by the way, one thing that I just find out uh, in preparation for this video, now I just uh, visited, uh, there is no 
uh, warriors tomb on this map uh, unfortunately so i visited these uh, three crypts uh, just uh, for the purpose of making this video but i learned that visiting the uh, more uh, more uh, things on the map uh, of the same type like these crypts will actually not stack your negative morale which is actually good so i visited these three crypts but my morale uh, just went down minus one so uh, i then visited this uh, churchyard to make sure i have negative morale because uh, have all the troops of same uh, of, of rampart so that's plus one minus two so now i will have uh, also removed all the morale boosting uh, bonuses um, uh, artifacts so uh, I will have minus uh, one morale let's fight these uh, devils arch devils actually uh, okay so I'm gonna uh, slow them down it can might take some time because uh, I have just minus one okay so um, let's just wait for them to make a move okay defend with this I can um, okay get this uh, defend uh, okay. Uh, with these guys, I should can use the key over there. Let's kill this. Uh, okay, defend with this. Now I'm gonna blind uh, these guys and let's see. Okay, defend, 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 defend. Okay, it may take uh, two or three turns even. Let's see. But I think it will in the end. Uh, some of these guys okay there we go you see that these uh this uh unicorn froze despite uh, me having the spirit of oppression that means the spirit of oppression doesn't do anything to prevent uh, freezing in combat it just prevents positive morale as it says okay so uh this is it for this video i hope you liked it i uh, hope you find it find it educational until the next time uh Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you like this content and see you guys.